We have here is a ladybug larva feeding on aphids on a rosebud. For people who want to have a chemical free garden, you have to put up with having some aphids, sometimes a lot of aphids, in order for the beneficials like this ladybug larva to have food. It's a give and take. You're going to have some buds filled up with aphids like that and some buds will be clean. It could be that for a period of a week or two, a lot of the buds get covered up with aphids. But well, this is the trade-off of having a pesticide-free or low pesticide garden as opposed to just bombing it with everything. When I farmed in Mexico, I had a tractor sprayer, I had a crop duster come by on Sunday morning and we'd load it up with all sorts of pesticides that weren't legal in the United States and we'd bomb those fields and a few days later the bugs are right back on those flowers again I was growing cut flowers in Mexico not food but in any event it's the same thing you know you have to find a balance in the garden there's some pests that you may need to use a chemical control for but aphids are certainly not one of them aphids, spider mites, uh, caterpillars and in this rose garden the aphids are getting knocked down by these ladybug larvae just a couple ladybug adults have laid enough eggs that there's ladybug larvae all over this English rose and now there's ladybug larvae that are changing from their larval stage into an adult lady beetle this will Probably in about five more days, a uh, shiny orange, and then it'll turn to red. Lady beetle will emerge from here. And there's already two different species at work in here. We've been looking at the ladybug larva for Hippodamia convergens, which is the ladybug larva, lady beetles that you buy at the nursery. But I'll bring it up since it's down further here. Here's Harmonia rixis, which is a lady beetle that the USDA brought in to combat soybean aphids. This is the lady beetle that invades houses in the Midwest and other portions of the country in the winter time. This is actually a better ladybug for most people because this ladybug thrives in the heat whereas Hippodamia convergens, the one that you all spend money for, doesn't like the heat. It migrates away as soon as it gets really hot. That's why it doesn't work out for most people's gardens in late May through the summer. And when you stand in the area and look long enough, you'll begin to see a whole world of predator and prey going on. It's actually the ladybug larva is actually struggling with the waxy coating on this rosebud but it'll grab a foothold and begin to get up there once it's begun feeding on the aphids because it'll suck all the juice out of them with these alligator like uh, mouth parts they'll um, actually sorry not alligator mouth part it has elephant like tusk on it and then clamps onto it and juices them out. What's left behind, whoops, what's left behind are the little white skins that people continuously mistake for white fly. The little white skins are just sucked up juiced aphids. And there's lacewing larva, lady beetle larva, seer fly larva, all walking around preying on these aphids, juicing them. There's a great still shot of a ladybug larva 